Hey, my lovely Willow Vibes tribe members. I am Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes, and I'm here to do a reading for the sign of Aries. I don't normally do you guys first, but I was like, hmm, who am I going to read for first? And y'all popped up. So maybe I have some Aries thinking about me wanting a reading. Who knows? Could be. But, or it just could mean that the messages are very important and significant and need to come out first for someone who is either vibing in Aries energy, you, your love interest, whoever, because it's not always about the sun sign, so remember that. But anyways, please like, 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 comment, share, and subscribe, stick around. I hope you do stay. I would love it if you would. A lot of you are focused on yourselves. Self-care, clear your energy field, and focus on yourself before acting. Um, I feel like there is someone in this situation who is doing that because they're they're worried about being open ultimately they fear rejection it's like i've made a decision and someone in this situation has been denying their abundance a true love situation like denying their feelings wondering if it's true and it's like i almost feel like i have a lot of love for you but I don't know if you have a lot of love for me because maybe somebody was rejected in this situation. So it's like, I'm just going to take care of myself now. And the other person is still worried about rejection because they didn't act when they should have. Um, we have shallow grave, you miss someone and angel of time working too hard. I do feel like because either you or your love interest, it could be flip flop by versa. just take what fits. Not all messages will resonate with everyone. It could be just bits and pieces as well. So just, you know, if this isn't you, it's them, whatever. Um, I do feel like someone in this situation is heavily missing the other person. It could be you, it could be them, whatever. And you're just putting your head down at work. Like I'm just focused on self care and focused on my coin on what I need to do for me because I can't sit here and miss you. But guess what? They didn't bury this connection six feet underground. This is shallow grave. Whoop, hands poking up. So it's like, you can only bury something for so long and it's almost like someone in the situation tried to bury these feelings for you or you tried to do this and it, it wasn't buried deep enough so those feelings are poking through the surface um it could be showing up through your work especially if you do anything creatively but I also feel like mood swings at work, like maybe somebody is acting out of character or doing things a little differently than they did before because their emotions are bubbling to the surface and coworkers or bosses might be like, is everything okay? You know, what's going on with you kind of thing. Someone's not handling their feelings very well um, because they're not dealing with it. And, you know, we can only suppress and push it down for so long. But I do feel like there is somebody in this situation who is missing you, Aries, or you're missing them. Possibly because of a wait. Wait, the timing is not quite right. I did see divine timing as well. Um, I feel like someone has waited long enough and they're just focusing on their healing now, or you are healing. Um, old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting. That could be what is poking through the surface as well for someone uh, creating a lot of fear. Like, I don't know if I can get attached because of past connections, you know, people fucking me over. If I open up, you know, you, you, I'll be too vulnerable. You can hurt me kind of thing. I don't want to deal with the pain of the past. Ultimately, whether it's, it could be caused again by this love connection or that's a fear of this person's um or it's just I don't want to go through the dark night of the soul I don't want to deal with what is dead and buried you know like I buried it for a reason and I don't want it to pop back up but guess what it always does so someone needs to deal with that don't worry you're protected you are safe and divinely guided and then vulnerability you can be completely open with this person I feel like this person knows that they can be open with you and you know or you know that about them um they're just they're fearful basically I feel like I don't want you to know that I'm afraid to to fall in love I'm afraid to be happy I'm afraid to to face these inner demons, this issue, whatever. You know, that's where the weight is coming in. It has nothing to do with you, Aries, or Aries person, cross watcher, whoever. It, ha it has everything to do with whoever this individual is. Um, I do feel like someone is feeling very open and vulnerable at this time. Like their, their shields are, it's like you're able to penetrate my shields and it scares me. So if any of you are healers, your tarot readers are very spiritual, this person, even if you're sending healing energy towards them, love and light or whatever, the things that are coming up for them that are bubbling to the surface is not only making them miss you, but it's, it's difficult for them because 
you have to face things when you when you go through the healing process and even if they feel protected or they know that they are like this stuff can't harm me you know i'm not getting too close you can't harm me they still fear that because of history ultimately um i do feel like you're on the right path you're doing what you need to do for you and so are they but someone is stalling there's a bit of procrastination here when it comes to a connection that's for sure don't worry, your work is protected. So if you're worried about anyone stealing your work, especially if you do anything online, like creatively, like, oh, you're stealing my ideas, you're doing this. Because for some of you, I do feel like there are some people doing that. It could be, I don't feel like it's your writing or anything like that. If you're doing that type of work and they obviously can't steal your artwork unless they're just taking your photographs and stuff and reusing them. But I feel like it's, it's more than that. It's whatever you're saying, somebody else is utilizing the information for profit for their own gain. So if, especially, for example, if you're a tarot reader or a spiritualist of any kind, if you share your work, your guidance, your messages online, there there is someone's, there's multiple someone's out there who are um, not picking up on the same energy as you. They're stealing your work. So just be aware of that. But you are protected and what goes around comes around. So everything will come to light on that situation it's just a matter of time ultimately so let's see let's get the main energy for you guys someone also there's someone on the outside who is like a soulmate energy who is uh they want to steal this connection so it's like i want to steal this person away from you it could be that someone wants to steal you away from your love interest or them from you it's like this sounds really promising really great i don't have much going on in my life so i want that um so just be aware of that i also feel like there are some people from the past who might resurface as well could be somebody that you worked with or they're just enthralled with your work especially if you guys work together or you do very similar things. Even if you don't, if you share your shit publicly, someone from the past is like, ooh, I see something here and I want this. And yeah, they're enchanted by something you're doing. Like, I don't know, your eyes enchant me. Your energy is just, it's calling to me. I feel like your energy is calling to a lot of different people. They're seeing a sense of stability within you that they, that they don't feel on their own. And it's like, it's shiny and pretty and I want it. Male, female, doesn't matter. Somebody wants, they either want your work, they want what you're working on. Because I don't feel like this person wants to work together with you, whoever this outsider is. I feel like they kind of, they might lie and say, oh, hey, buddy, let's work together kind of thing. I got a lot of ideas. Um, I want to do this with you. But they just want to take your ideas and run. Let's take the money and run is what I feel with that. So just be careful of that. Be careful who you invest with. But there is change and transformation coming in with somebody from the past. There's a lot of passion there. And I feel like there's two people. There's someone you could have dated where they want to. There's like a death and rebirth. They, they basically are like a zombie. That person wants to control the situation. They've probably been trying to do it behind the scenes and they want to resurrect something. Yeah, it's all about timing and then tornado. Um, but this person, they're, kind of, they're stalking you. They're watching your every move and they're keeping it to themselves. There's, there's a financial motive with, with whoever that person is. It's, I see something bright and shiny and pretty with you and I want it. That could be like, what the hell? But there is a... There is a massive shift coming with your work because working too hard. Some of you need to take a break and just like really like realign yourselves and center and figure out which direction you're going in because I feel like I have many ideas, many plans. It's like I'm doing this, this, and this, and this when you should just be focusing on one thing at a time. Um, that's not for all of you. That could even be your love interest for some of you. But there is a change in a work situation for some of you where it's like I don't like the nine to five. I don't like what I'm doing. This is not... I'm, I'm basically busting my ass for 
and just getting by it's like what the, there's more to life than this so it's it's like don't work your life away and someone is doing that whether it's you or them and there is a major change going on there because it's like i don't want to do that like this isn't fulfilling for me um while others of you are going to see major changes come in like a whirlwind through a creative approach that you take through like going into business for yourself it's like wasn't wasn't really doing much and then whew, all of a sudden it does something's taking off so all your hard work is going to pay off um financially speaking when we're really talking about work but i also feel like within this connection all all the time energy and effort that you've put into a situation all the time that you've put in it's going to change drastically so it will be worthwhile someone's just been waiting for the right time to say something and that's why they're in the shallow grave it's like basically on the surface it looks like there's no feelings here it looks like i'm just i'm just doing my own thing i'm not thinking about you at all but if you just like put the shovel in one scoop and you'll see and that's kind of what's going on here it's all about divine timing i'm gonna make you miss me is what i just heard it's a sudden shock here so i kind of want to i want to see what that's about i'm gonna make you miss me hmm. so what's up with timing Aries moving on to the next and clouded misunderstandings judgmental and confusion I feel like I'm not waiting around I'm not waiting around for you to make a decision for you for you to finally show your feelings basically I'm moving away from all this confusion I need clarity in my life and I kind of feel like that could be your love interest moving towards you like why am I keeping all this hidden because you guys know, like, through telepathic communication, through the 5D, like, there's clarity, there's spiritual clarity, but in the physical realm, nobody's saying jack shit, ultimately. And I do feel like some of you are suddenly just letting go and moving on. Like, you know, this is too confusing. You don't know what you want, but I know what I want. Even if I don't know who the hell it's with or whatever, because I was thinking of you, I'm moving away from all the confusion. And I do feel like that's kind of shocking to somebody because they do miss you and they've just been waiting for the perfect time. And now, and now they feel like, oh crap, there's been such a sudden change. What do I do now? You're moving away. Um, someone could have been dealing with with, with physical issues as well like you know physical pain of some kind but i was gonna say family issues this is like somebody might have hurt themselves at work too somebody's working too hard and it is causing physical pain they could be dealing with like i don't know because i feel it in my leg knee area like somebody could have hurt their leg or something but i'm also i also get stress or shoulder pains and stuff it could be stress related but it's like overworking oneself um, and lower back pain too. I'm just trying to provide for the family and it's almost like I'm doing too much and it's all it is is just hurting me. It's like I'm, I'm burying myself in the ground basically is what that feels like. So someone needs to really take a load off. Time to confront issues and make a move. Yeah, that someone's suddenly coming in because they, they see you moving away from them. That might be the whole I'm going to make you miss me shit. You're not going to see this coming because I feel like it's been such a long wait and you're just focused on your stability and moving forward and then whew, this person comes in like a fucking whirlwind and you're going to go, it's about fucking time, but holy crap. Like, is this real? Is this really, is this really happening or are you, or did something go wrong in your life? And I'm um, the backup plan. You don't want to be anyone's backup plan. So you might question this because it is so shocking or so sudden. There's also disagreements here. You were seeing, you and this person were on different pages because they were moving too slow is what I'm feeling. But there's also a karmic individual, someone on the outside who is not seeing things from your point of view or vice versa. Self-love, taking care of me now. Yeah, it's like I'm not dealing with family issues. I'm not dealing with your problems, their problems, whatever. You're self-focused now. And that could be like a whirlwind for um, the people in your life because I almost feel like I'm busting my ass. I'm doing everything for you, for you, for the kids, for this, for the, for whatever, you know, for everyone. And now you're going, well, no, I'm not doing that now, you know, because I'm not going to break my fucking back and get nothing in return. You know, my love life is crap. It's not moving forward. You know, so I'm just going to focus on myself. And you know what? I never put myself first. So some of you are like, I'm doing what I love for work. I'm going to invest in myself because I believe in myself. And 
you're pouring all the love back into you and I do feel like it is very shocking to those around you. It might even be shocking to your family, especially if you're like, if you're the one that like, say for example, you ask people to like, hey kids, will you do the dishes? Will you do this? Will you do that? And they're like, oh later, oh later, or they never do it and you do it because it drives you crazy. It's like, I just needs to get done. You're not doing that anymore. And it might be confusing people like, you always did this for me. No matter what it is, like you always took care of this. You always did this for me. Why aren't you doing it now? Because I love myself and I'm not, it's not balanced, you know. It, you got to give to get and I've been giving and giving and giving and not getting. So I'm just pouring it all into myself. That's kind of what I'm feeling here. And it is confusing people. But I do feel like you're going to see positive change come from that in love and just in life in general. Some people might start sucking up to you and kissing ass areas like, oh, I'm so sorry that I hurt you. Yeah, there is a painful ending here. Oh, there's conflict. You might start a fight because you're actually taking care of yourself, potentially with a child. We have the page of coins here and the queen of wands. It's like, you need to grow up. I just heard grow up or get the fuck out. So some of you might be uh, saying that to someone, not necessarily, but it's like, you got to pull your weight around here, no matter what we're talking about. And that is going to cause some type of discord. I want to know what this painful ending is real quick. Why did I close the deck like that? All right. So actually give me one more card and then I'll clarify what is going on with Aries in love, life, what have you. I feel like there is a family situation that someone does not want you to move away from. It could be the karmic, but I also feel like if there's children involved, the children, it's like, I just want my family back. I want, want you to be with mom. I want you to be with dad, whatever. Like someone, someone or someone's, especially in a household, they don't like change and they're, they're suppressing those feelings like, oh, I'm happy for you. You do what you need to do. But when, when you take action on this change, they're not going to be very happy about it. And they're going to act all confused. Like... I also feel like there's somebody who's acting confused, like they don't know what's going on. They don't like, oh, I didn't see. Like it's going to come as a shock when you actually move out, move on. Whatever you do, like if you find new love or whatever, um, they're going to be like, oh, we didn't see this coming. But they knew they were they were judging you the, the whole time and they were creating delays. Someone was creating delays in your life, especially in your love life. But they're going to play it off as if they weren't. They knew what you were waiting for. Someone's also been fucking with your stability. Someone's trying to keep you stuck. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, the King of Cups. But that's balancing out because I feel like you're pulling your energy away from that person. Because you're like, I'm not overthinking the situation anymore. Nope, not doing it. Like, you do you and I'll do me. Like, that's kind of what this is. So, Ten of Swords, what is this about? Yeah, there's a lot of pretenders around. It's like, I don't know what's going on. Why is mom so different? Why is dad so different? Why is so-and-so so different, even if there's no kids involved? And they know exactly why things are different. It's because you're choosing yourself, which is beautiful because I feel like I'm talking to somebody who did not choose themselves all the time. And it's like you did love yourself, but you weren't showing yourself that type of love because you were taking care of business. You're taking care of everyone else. And it gets really draining. And I feel like it was draining the shit out of you or your person, whoever. It was draining someone. It could cause a fight. It really could because... Sometimes people don't like it when we better ourselves or we do what's best for us. And I kind of feel like someone's like, what's best for you is not best for me. I don't fucking like this. That's what I feel. We have the Hierophant. Yeah, this could be an end to a family situation or even a job for someone. Someone could lose their job, especially if they're, whoo, I just got a bad stomach pain. Um, it feels like I got shot. And in one reading, there were two rings. So this could be a married couple, not necessarily, but... Um, there are two rings and I hit one of them like a, with the cards or whatever. So information could have hit someone hard and the ring shot into my pocket, into my pocket. And it hit me in the spot where I get that stabbing pain. It feels like I got shot because it will go right through into my back and it will shoot down my leg. And it's like, it would feel like as if somebody stabbed you or shot you there. And I'm like, that's kind of fucked up that I got that reading. And now those pains are coming on and it's happening when I'm talking about this sense of betrayal, potentially 
with an ex-wife, ex-husband, whatever, because this can be a painful ending to a relationship of some kind. There was a painful ending, or there's going to be. The sun. There's clarity on a painful ending with the... Is this the six of coins or is this the four of coins? Looks like the four of coins. The six of coins, something wasn't fair, it wasn't balanced. And then we have the devil with conflict with the three of wands again. It's almost like the devil is just yeah, this is the four of coins. Somebody's holding back. It could be a son who's holding back. But somebody's holding back the information they have. Like, I already know what's going on here. But they're holding on to, to a connection, an outdated situation, which is only going to make it more painful when it ends. This devil energy could be holding on to it. But they're holding back a lot of inner conflict. And I almost feel like I'm just waiting for the opportune time to say something. And it's almost like when your ships come in, that's the perfect time. So when you feel like you're moving on, when you're going to do what you want for you, yeah, when your ships come in, that's when the burdens come. Like when you release your burdens and you get what you want, your person, your livelihood changes, like money comes in, whatever it is for you, because it's all encompassing. Because this is like, this is the ship you want. This is your manifestations. It's like when all that shit comes in, I'm going to create a problem for you. That's what I feel. Someone wants to create a problem, but they're waiting because now is not the time. It's very, an eye for an eye. It's very vindictive. Like, you hurt me. You crushed my heart. I'm going to crush your dreams. That's kind of what I feel with that because then we have death here. Someone could be burdened by a death or their dreams ending. Like... I don't know. For some reason, Aries, I feel whether this is you or your love interest or someone around you, it's like mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? And you don't even think that you are. You're just doing what you're guided to do and you're taking care of you. And someone's looking at your self-love as though you're being a selfish bitch and only thinking about yourself. Male, female, doesn't matter. Someone's just being very arrogant. And it's like, if I don't get these, if I can't have these dreams with you, you can't have them either is what I feel like because this person's very conniving sneaking up on the star it's almost like there's death sneaking up on the star energy it could be a Scorpio sneaking up on an Aquarius not necessarily but it's almost like I'll carry these burdens for you I'll take care of this I'll take care of that you focus on your dreams. You do what you need to do. And then wham, this could be the tornado. Like, it looks like somebody's helping you, but they're not. It could be in a family situation because we do have the Hierophant. And that might be where this betrayal is coming in because this is holding back, saving your money, holding on to things. Maybe your child knows that you're saving your money for a certain certain something, situation, whatever, and that person's blabbing their mouth, running back to dad, mom, whatever, um, sharing your plans kind of thing, or that person is a problem for you, whoever it is. But it's like someone... Someone's holding back their plans. I need more on this three of wands and the devil with conflict. This person's kind of obsessed with you, I'm just saying. Whoever it is. But it's a dead situation, like 100%. The eight of coins. Has to do with work and working on something. This devil energy is waiting to see you fail because I feel like they're sending you negative energy. There's like a bunch of conflicting energies that could be internal, but it's also external. I feel like I'm causing problems for you. The chariot energy, some, there could be car issues here too. Some of you could be saving for a car and there could be a problem here that arises because you find out the truth as to why 
you know, why your plans have fallen through, why you can't buy this new car, why you can't fix your car, what happened to your car. I don't know. Someone really wants to hurt you. They just do. I want more on this devil. Because I just, I feel like this devil, the devil's plans haven't fully been, they're not fully in effect, but they haven't fully been working yet. But that's why you're working so hard, because somebody's working against you. It's like they're creating a sense of resistance, which is making it a lot more difficult for you to fully move forward. Yeah, they're creating resistance through work, and they could involve your family, ultimately. Because you're healing. You're letting go of control. And you might not be accepting help from this devilish person anymore. Like, I got it. I'm doing it myself now. This person definitely does not want you to succeed. Because the second you succeed, what you're waiting for will happen. And you'll move forward. And this person, they're working against you. There's someone who's creating conflict in your life, they're working against against your dreams, against what you want, even though they're acting as though they're not. It's because they're very stressed out. They're creating the stress, a very stressful environment for you. It's like, while well, you're just, you know, working on yourself, doing what you need to do and continuing to hope, hope, wish and pray for this because you're manifesting. Someone's potentially talking shit about you behind your back, but I feel like they're... It's like when you succeed, they feel like a failure, so they're they're trying to attack you is what it feels like. They're trying to keep you stuck. Someone's trying to keep you stuck energetically, physically. They don't want you to have a new beginning. The only new beginning that you're going to get is with me because 3 plus 1 is 4, and that was the snake wand. And it's like, what you're manifesting is not what I'm manifesting, and I'm going to get what I want. I've been working towards this you can't let go of everything that we've built but i don't feel like you built much with this person if anything this person's gonna cause a real fucking there's a real issue here when you go to move forward is what i feel this is a real real issue someone's a smoker too hmm well let's see what is this issue real quick Something to do with music. I feel like you and your person are connected through music and you're listening to songs like Hit Shuffle because it's time to be brave and the songs that come up are meaningful. They will explain what this tornado is and, and help you move forward, whether it's in a love situation or not. Someone's also missing you and pining over you, and that could be the, the problematic person. That They won't admit that, though. All right, so let's see. What is this problem for Aries or Aries person? I just heard take it on the run. Someone might view you as a cheater even if you're not with them just because they want you. Or they could be spreading lies about that, especially if it's an ex. We have imprisonment community and sudden wealth. I feel like a prisoner in my own home. Someone also feels like a prisoner within the com within their community. There could be multiple people against you. Like, who do I turn to? Where do I run? Um, so I feel like a lot of you are feeling are feeling alone. Like, I don't have anyone to help me, so I gotta fight all these battles myself. And I do feel like you're succeeding, at least thus far, but there are some people who are concerned about you within the community, so there are some friends that maybe you don't think you have who see, a situ who see the situation, they are very concerned for, you know, whatever's going on with you. Someone's also a slave to their job. I don't know. There's a problem with someone's work. We have bad health and imprisonment and message of concern again. Some of you just might feel stuck in, in, in a marriage and a commitment, an outdated commitment or a new one. Like 
I made a, a shit choice. Now I feel stuck. Um, someone's stuck in a bad situation, an unhealthy situation. They just don't know how to get out of it. Someone's also tangled up in they're tangled up with the law so they could have made some poor choices and they're afraid like if they back out or if they say something or do something that they're going to get arrested um not necessarily but that's a small message for someone so someone could you know have broken the law breaking the law but with sudden wealth and then message of concern i feel like it would be good news for you because it's your lucky day. Good things, yeah, change is headed your way. You could be changing homes as well or you're going to have enough money to relocate, build or buy a house or, you know, just for the changes you want in your life because this is like suddenly a blessing comes in for you and it's going to create, it's, it's, it's like whatever's good for you is bad for someone else is what it feels like. And someone might try to fight you for what's rightfully yours. So just be aware of that because I don't know. I kind of feel there could be the theft bullshit in here as well. But somebody's headed your way to try to make things right because they want to be with you. And it, they could just see money because they're trapped in a bad situation. It's like you're my golden ticket. You're the, the ticket out of my shit show is what this kind of looks like for someone, not for everyone. Um, someone just might be concerned that if you finally pull yourself out of an unhealthy situation, you move forward for you when thing when you get your wishes, basically, through work, love, whatever, that this change is going to send you in a new direction with somebody new. You're going to have that new family, that new life, and it's going to be very beautiful. And it's upsetting somebody else because they're not going to be part of it. That's where the conflict is coming in. But there is somebody else who is here who has a um, health issue. And that could be someone who's kind of money hungry and they're a fucking liar. That liar could be a main male as well. Because that main male's actually in poverty. That person could be acting as though they have money when they really don't. And it's almost like I'll give to you, I want to help you achieve your goals, your dreams or whatever. Um, but they're only doing it because they... They know that they'll they'll reap the rewards in the end that they'll that they'll be fine because they're actually in this energy. It's almost like tapping out your credit cards and um, living a higher lifestyle than they're living beyond their means. Whoever this person is, because they're they're showboating basically because it's all bullshit. This person doesn't have the money that they that they claim that they do, or they owe they might owe money to someone. They might owe it to a main female. And that person is, yeah, it's something to do with the home situation. So if there's children, someone's stuck because because they're afraid to be without. This main female might be stuck in a in in the home. Like I'm stuck in this situation with you because I can't afford to be on my own. But it's all lies coming from this masculine energy. It's a scare tactic. That's the devil energy. Someone's saying that. Someone's making it look like you wouldn't be able to do it on your own or they wouldn't and they're going to guilt trip you into helping them. As someone you were married to, you were connected with this main male in some capacity. And good things are coming to you and they don't want somebody else to reap those rewards. That's exactly what it is. You've thought a lot about this. Whatever, you know, whoever it is to you, but that's going on for either you or your love interest or for someone out there. Change is coming. If someone don't like it. But that's pretty much what I have for you. Like anything else. About Aries new love. Aries new love. Or the one they want. You're worth the investment with that person. Enlightenment. They're figuring things out. Because you freed yourself. I feel like this person is figuring out that you are free. That you're making positive changes for yourself. Um, that you weren't sugarcoating shit with them. That you weren't like being all sweet and kind. And bullshitting your way into their heart. Into their life. And they do want to change things between the two of you. I do feel like they want to lighten the load. So you're not as stressed out. Or that's what you want to do with this person. It's like I just don't want stress, worry, and bullshit in my life. Um, there is a spiritual awakening here. And maybe that's what your person's thinking. Like, you know, you're, you're calm and it's, it's peaceful around you. 
you don't create this drama. It, all the chaos and stress and burdens are surrounding the situation by outsiders. It's not you. So someone's seeing that and they want to change how they speak to you and the dynamic between the two of you. Because you are worth the investment and you two think very similarly and they want to reconcile with you. This person wants to possibly apologize for moving away from you and believing the lies of others ultimately is what it looks like. Yeah, they have a lot to say to you now. I feel like they've always had a lot to say. They're really sad without you. They want to apologize. They find you very attractive. You have a lot, a lot of confidence. There is a younger energy here who does not want to feel left out. This child, it could be a child or a friend who feels like they're on the losing end. Like, if you get what you want, then I'm out in the cold. I don't know. There's, there's someone who's like really focused on money and they are upset. They're depressed. They're holding it back. It's like your wishes are coming true and mine aren't. Someone's very jealous and it, it really could be a child. They're just pushing through. I just heard I did everything he asked me to do. So I don't know what that means. And they feel betrayed. They either feel betrayed because they did everything that you asked them to do, whether it's a child or not. Like, go do this, go do that, and I'll pay you kind of thing. Or there's a, there's a negative person around, and I strongly feel this. There's like the devil energy. Could be another parent, could be an ex of yours who's causing problems. But who, no matter who it is, this page of coins energy is very impressionable and they need money they're very focused on on the material realm it's like i did everything you asked me to do i watched so and so i lied i took this i did that whatever they had to do because there's the false person energy it might shock you Aries, to find out who this person is or who you might know who the devil is but you might not know who all the minions are you might be shocked to find out did everything yeah with the seven of swords too I did everything you asked me to do. Here's the 10 of coins. I stalked this person. I watched this person. I listened. I said this, I said that. Cause that's the spy and they're looking at the money. Could be within a family situation. It's almost like sneaking towards all this money, towards the stability, but looking back at the devil. Like I did everything you asked me to do. And the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, might be really upset to find out who this person is, who's been stealing from her or him. Could be a Virgo, could be a Leo, Virgo, Leo, Cusper, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Now what do I do? I feel like someone's going to be faced with a choice. Is now the time to create this? Do I create this sudden shock? Do I create the tornado, the tower? Or do I just see what happens and let it fall on its own? What the fuck? Well, someone's coming quick. Someone that you forgot about or that you thought forgot about you hasn't. They have a lot of passion for you. And I do feel like change is coming, so we'll find out what that fucking... Yeah, there's a new beginning here, so we'll find out what that little fucker is planning. You know what I mean? You're going to find out right quick because it's different for everyone, but there's death here. Could be against the Scorpio. The Eight of Wands. There's communication about a death. The Three of Cups. Celebration. Someone could be celebrating an ending. Like, yay, we finally ended this situation. The Ten of Swords with the fucking tower. Communicating with friends. Communication from a friend or if you communicate with friends or if you get receive communication from a friend or multiple friends that makes you really happy. That's what's causing this. Someone's lurking. They're, they're watching you. They're very manipulative. Yeah, they're, I feel like they might end up in jail because of whatever they're planning. But this person is, they're stalking and they're caught up in their head over what they're seeing or hearing or whatever. And they're putting an end, an end to the communication. 
no good news for you. I don't know. Something like that. Someone's just nasty. I don't know. They got problems. Could be the father of your children or an ex of yours. Because we have the emperor here who's been waiting for the opportune time. Could be when they're drinking. The devil. For the opportune time to invoke some fear. To scare someone away. To scare you off to invoke fear in you so that you comply. Something like that. I don't know. Something's going on, Aries. It's bullshit, but I love you guys. And it does look like good things are coming in. So, you know, really work on yourselves and like keep yourselves centered and balanced and, um, you know, don't overdo it because I feel like you're getting really tired because of everything that you're putting into whatever, whatever you're working on. Um, you know, like, you could be working a lot of overtime or whatever, but regardless of that, it's like physical labor on top of mental. And then with this negative energy surrounding you, I feel like I'm just, I'm on E, you know, it's like, I got to go to the gas station and fill up cause I ain't got no more fucking fuel. And that's the way that this devil energy likes it. They like it when you're on low. So, you know, really meditate, block out negative energies and pick your battles with people but it's like how much work do you really need to put into whatever you're doing because I feel like you're overworking yourself so take care of you go have a spa day or something and recalibrate ultimately good things are coming in for you your wishes are coming true the devil can't stop it forever but that's probably why there's been so many delays in the situation but I love you guys and I'll talk to you soon